Welcome back to Great Day. Some people are so excited to spend time with their families this week, and others, well, <laughs> so to help us let go of any resentment that might be lingering and that could creep up around the dinner table, we have brought in the forgiveness expert, Kiana Brown. Kiana, welcome to Great Day. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Some people can really relate with that when they think about some of the grudges that are lingering as they go to see family this week. What yes. are some great advice that you can give them as they're trying to walk into the family dinner? So it's easy. It's really, really easy, but it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we need to realize is our identity. A lot of the times we don't recognize who we are and when we're not sure of who we are, then the environment dictates who we are. Mm -hmm. And so when you're going in and you have this, what I like to call generational unforgiveness, you know, there are mm -hmm. family members who say, oh, we're not going to be friends with this family member. We're not going to, you know, partake in this or there are rules. Don't when you go in the house, we're not going to do this. And you sit here and you sit there. There's so many different rules but when you know who you are exactly who you are you can walk into any environment and not let it change who you are isn't it interesting when you get back with family that you suddenly like take on the role you, you had as a child I'm the youngest yes. so I notice like <laughs> my sisters are the leaders you yes. know yeah, so you say don't forget who you are outside yes, do not that. forget who you are. You have to go in there, walk in there with confidence, but also know that you can bring peace, right? When you know who you are, there's a subtleness, there's mm -hmm. a calmness about you that it doesn't matter where you are, which environment, you're going to bring that joy. You can change. You can be a culture shifter. You can change the environment when you know who you are. Right, easy but hard. You're also talking <laughs> about expectations. We all have Ooh. planned what we think is going to happen, right? <laughs> so there are a lot of us who live in these unrealistic expectations it's not mm -hmm. reality it's something that we've made up in our head um, for an example mom is supposed to be this person so mom doesn't get to be who mom is you know we give her this role she has this title but we forget beyond that that mom was whatever Susie or whoever mom was before then and yeah. so we place expectations on our family members because we feel that they should react this way we feel that they shouldn't do this we feel that they should say this or they shouldn't say that and when you don't go into an, envir with an environment with expectation, then you're less likely to be disappointed when they don't behave the way that you want them to. So it's not just what you feel from the other family members, it's also what you kind of project on to yes, them yes, and the yes. roles you think they're filling. Yes, absolutely. Okay, what's the next way to have some peace? Well, the next way is to not get stuck in the trap. And I like to say that the trap is a toxic mindset, rejection, anger, and pain. Mm -hmm. And in our lives, we've gone through so many things as it relates to family. Family is actually the first um, to hurt you. You know, when you're your siblings and you're young, your brother or your sister does something to you. And that's yeah. pretty much almost the first hurt that you'll get. But allowing yourself to not be stuck in that is knowing your identity, is also not having expectation on your family, but realizing before before you get there, there are moments where you can see the environment changing, you can see the atmosphere shifting, and so you have to step back for a minute. It's like, oh, I'm not going there, I'm not doing that, and so that will allow for you to avoid getting into the position of the trap, the toxic mind, rejection, anger, and pain. Well, you're also talking about something that's happened when you were so little, you know, but they hold it. Well, I let it happen you. and keep you know influencing you 20 years later. And that's that's exactly what unforgiveness is, but the moment mm -hmm. that you realize that you're in that trap is the moment that you can begin to become free, right? So now no longer are you holding those resentments, those angers, those issues that you had when you were younger, and you're able to actually enjoy one another, the real life, the real relationship that we're supposed to have. And those ever-changing roles yes. in the family. You also say you need some sort of way to have a release moment. Woo, woo <laughs> you need to be uh -huh. able to release because once you have all of those things built up, you have to find a way to release those things. I like writing. Writing is a great tool, as you know, right. <laughs> to heal, yeah. to release some things, things that you didn't even know were there. Um, and even when you're having those situations, if you're going to go to that family event, that family dinner, your trading presents, whatever it is that you feel that you have an uneasiness about, write about it before you go. Kind of put things in the atmosphere so that you can look at them before you go. A lot of the times when we don't plan, we plan, and we, when we don't plan, we fail. Right. And so if right. you're planning before you get there and people say, oh, write about my family, you need to write about everything that happens in your life, because that's a way that's going to help you to actually see it. You know, um, there's a thing that says write the vision and make it plain. You have to put everything out before you so that you can see it so you can see how to get over that hurdle. 
I love it. Kiana, where can we find more tips from you on how sure. to forgive this holiday season? <laughs> Absolutely. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Forgiveness Expert, or you can visit the web at uh, www.kianafbrown.com. Love it. So we're going to let go of that resentment this holiday season. Kiana, thank you so much. We'll be right back after this break.